Are you guys staying with Mathis? Mathis is staying with us, okay? I saved Mathis from paying 500 bucks per night. I'm an octopus. Now, because uh, thanks to us, he's paying like nothing. He, he's getting the freebies right now. I was like, yo, Mathis, do you want to stay with us? And he's like, yeah, sure. Uh, how much is it? And I told him the price, and he's like, oh, per night? I'm like, no. Total. Total. And yeah. he's like, what? Kate's a wizard. Although I did hear there were a lot of Airbnb cancellations. But as long as ours isn't canceled. No, it's not. That's all I care about. I mean, I care that other people are getting theirs canceled. But... Yeah, the hotels are nasty. Quite expensive there. Yeah, freaking Mathis Ding Dong was like, yo, I'm dropping 500 bucks per night. I'm like, whoa, I didn't know you became a uh, YouTube god. And That's like being back in London. Made all the, all the money in the world. Dropping 500 bucks a night. How exactly did she perform that wizardry? Airbnb? Well, it wasn't just a click of a Airbnb. It was she, uh, she had to scour. lots of uh, research. She had to scour. Lots of uh, research, lots of uh, talking back and forth, communications, you know? Uh, and we're staying right next to the E3 convention center, so... And then the place that we're staying is awesome, so... No problem. No problem. Uh, the, all I can say is just uh, marry the smartest lady that you know, and and she will she will save you all these headaches. We are and heartaches. Well, you're not wrong for one, but if someone asked if we're driving or flying, we're gonna fly. Good decision. Um, the the drive to L.A. is long. It's like. One one day of hell or like two days of it cannot be one. It's like nineteen hours. Yeah, and like two days of still pretty nasty. The flight is only like two hours flat, so yeah, it's pretty sensible to fly. Relatively cheap as far as uh, air travel goes, and you're you're in and out, which is good. In like people say, oh, but you should drive because the coastal driving. It's a very uh, beautiful. That gets real old real quick. Yeah. After like two hours, you're like, ah, oh, shit, this view is amazing. But can we be at the place that we need to be, please? Oh my god. Pretty bad. Like, I remember we were driving down to LA and then like we saw a black bear. We were like, oh, cool, there's a black bear. Oh, <laughs> and that was it. And that was it and for for that two minute we spent like four days on the road it Yeah, was so bad. I think the road trip it gets uh, too romanticized. Yeah, like a, a three-hour drive No problem uh, Like 20 hour drive over the course of several days Book me the flight man. I Think people just roman the road trip. It is also because a it's lot cheaper. cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. So if you are tight on money, they're just like, oh, not only the it's cheaper, it also it's beautiful. But instead of saying it's cheaper, because it sounds like you're you need money, you just say it's beautiful. So make it sound like you're doing it for the view, not because of the money. If I was, you know, light on money and way more rich on time, I might be persuaded. But uh, for now, it makes a lot more sense. Also, it makes you really sick because it's all mountain. So a lot of it is curvy. Mm. So it goes like, ooh, ooh, ooh. so you just go like vomit with it, and then 
I guess like it, you can do it differently, but when my parents were doing what they were doing was that they didn't know where they're gonna be at. Like they wanna drive as much as they can, but they don't know when they will be stopping. So yeah. they were just like, ah, we'll just wing it. We'll just get the hotel whenever we need it. Yeah. And we would get like the shittiest hotel that feels like someone might have like, you know, maybe a um, murder, murder happened or something. Hide some dead bodies underneath some carpets or something like that. And it's, it's like it's real gross. All those rooms are real gross. And you, my mom will be like, oh, free breakfast? It's a great place. And then the free breakfast is just like bagels, man. Two, two muffins and like a toaster. And I'm just like, I don't... That's... I, I would rather freaking buy a bagel than have it be advertised as free breakfast. I hate those places. I expect free breakfast be legit, not like bagels and sour creams and just like, here you go, here's your breakfast. When I was a kid, I remember staying at places and my parents weren't breaking the bank. We'd stay at places with like a free continental breakfast and it would have like hot plates with eggs and bacon, kind of like we had in Japan actually. It was like a breakfast buffet. It was awesome. Now every time we have a breakfast, uh, continental breakfast, it's always like we have like six bagels and like a juice Muffin. fountain. And that's it. Even like cereal, it's just like I don't know how old they old they are because they're just sitting outside there all day. Yeah, and then they're like, you know, we, when does when is breakfast served? Uh, five thirty a.m. till six fifteen a.m. You know, please help me. I'm not complaining about free breakfast. I just It's not free per you, I mean, se. you do pay for it, but they should just give you a coupon and be like, "Hey, come to the restaurant." Yeah. And you can order like one thing that's under, you know, 10 bucks or 15 bucks on the menu. Or like, I don't I don't I am not interested of you know, bagels. So, can I get that money deducted from the room cost? Get like a $2 off. Well, I don't know. I don't know how much that they're trying to sell it in with the free breakfast. Free continental breakfast. Is it free breakfast that just subscribes to me? Oh, no, it's Mason Dairy for three months. Damn it, it would have been so good if it was a free breakfast that subscribed to me. Thank you for the continued support for three months. Get on me, roll out. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. No, I went. I went there, done that, we rolled that shit. Shit. It was alright, shit. Oh, what is this? Speed up. Which is real good with Taurus. It's true. But maybe I always get shitty continental breakfast because I like pick my hotel exclusively by first price and then location. Uh, hey, why doesn't the, the budget inn have uh, freshly cooked bacon in their breakfast buffet? That doesn't seem right. No way, man. The hotel we stayed in Whistler was not in budget. Yeah, that was... You know, you're going out for a long day on the slopes. Nick, what do you got for breakfast? I gotta get some energy to get me through this whole day. And then they're like, we got a bagel. Oh. That's it. That's it, man. And then we got those bagel toasters. It takes like uh, 10 minutes for the bagel to get through. I mean, this is super first world problems, but still. Ooh. Am I the most genius person of all time? Money, did you money, see what I did? Money. Well, 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 thank you. That was Dragon Rage. Go get some free breakfast on the house. Thank you. There you go. This, you're enabling us to continue to have uh, high standards. Did you see what I did, right? Did you take yourself down to 1, one HP? Yeah. That's a smart idea. Yeah. It's a good idea. Mob the Void's real good. Do I get it too? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I get it too. Let's do one more room. Sure. Raise your cape lender to Dragon Rage. Thank Dragon, you. Dragon Rage. 210. Was... He's been trying to uh, 
send some some love and some tips. I don't know. Maybe we actually are done with the. It's possible. Oh, oh. Definitely gone this way. No, one more charge. There was a room, but it was a golden. Yeah, you know what? Okay, we're done. What? Oh, that's you. I ain't letting mine go. I we need to open like a hotel for millennials, Kate. So here's here's how we open a hotel for millennials. All right. Checkout is at two. Wasn't there a hotel? Yeah, the Seattle one was like a two or something. I think it was like one, twelve or one. Yeah. But like none of this ten a.m. hotel stuff. Oh, there you go. Oh my Someone god. Needs competition. Makafiru. Go get yourself some S tier breakfast. Baby, oh baby. Raise your cape blender. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get some brunch tomorrow. Thanks thanks to you guys. If we get up early enough, we could go get brunch. I could be persuaded to get brunch. I already know I'm gonna be in pain tomorrow. At least enjoy your pain with the S tier S tier uh break not breakfast but brunch. Cause uh, we're too hip to have breakfast. Brunch is we're, the... well, we're we're too hip and we wake up too late. Oh. <laughs> I think brunch is the way nowadays. I don't know. Like I I feel like I've never really had a proper brunch because whenever we go out to a brunch place, if they've got like a sandwich, the fuck you have it. I don't have it. If they've got My a sandwich on the menu, then I get a sandwich. If they've got like a classic breakfast on the menu, I get the classic breakfast. So like. I'm not getting any brunchiness. Why don't you just put a bomb on that thing? Put a bomb on it. Yes, yeah, son. Put a bomb on it. Uh -uh. Oh, Ooh. classic. Put a bomb on it. Put a bomb on it. Put a, put a, put a, put a, put a, put a bomb on it. Oh, there's an eternal heart I didn't see. We should uh, do the boss trap room. Just in case there's a red chest. Where is it? It's on the map, directly below the room we were just in. Oh, no secret room. I'm I'm screwed. Not screwed. Ha 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 ha! Woo! The smartest lady is right here. What is like a brunch food that is not? Eggs Benedict. Because I, I mean, I respect the Eggs Benedict. I'm not anti Eggs Benedict. That was really good. Um, Jackpot! But, like, for me, brunch means cantaloupe. It means, like, you get a little slice of melon with your meal. What? Brunch means orange juice. That's breakfast, too, though. Well, it's, uh, you have to have orange juice in your breakfast or brunch. You know what? I can be a grapefruit juice guy at brunch. I can understand Grapefruit? This. Yeah. No way. It does not bother me. All that tang? You know what? I think it helps you wake up. I ain't getting a little bit no, of a strong... I just thought about it and I just... Bleh. Strong taste in the morning? Helps you wake up. What? The coffee's not a strong taste, though. That coffee's a strong taste? It's very strong. It's a quiet taste. What? No. Strong taste is more like mint. Mint is strong taste. I don't want any mint for brunch. I already brushed my teeth. <laughs> I already got my mint taste. I check the curse room. What? Girl, what, what world are you live in now? You don't check curse rooms. Are you getting uh, some bad Isaac Kate, habits? Kate world. You've been watching too much Mathis. Whoa. Shots fired. Would you be mad if I were to reroll that? Uh, I wouldn't have been mad. I would have thought that it was not the right decision, but it could have turned into the right decision depending on what you got, so. Now, if you reroll a guppy item, <laughs> I'll be slightly unhappy. But, you know, I'd, I'd expect us to get flying on this run anyway, so I wouldn't have been mad. In my life, I want to be that person in the first class, and then just like, oh, freaking three-course meal? Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Oh, you give me actual utensils that are not plastic? 
Oh, whatever. And then just put it in the bag. <laughs> put it in your bag? Yeah. To eat it later? No, the utensils. Oh, the, you're gonna steal the forks <laughs> on, the, on the airplane. Yeah, I paid for it, man. <laughs> I bet that happens all the time. I paid for it. I paid that forks and knives. Well, depending on what airline you fly to, if you go first class, or first class. First, first if you go class. first class, you get to keep the, uh, the headset they give you. They give you like a nice, no, like most, most, they use the bows. Mm. That they say, do not take it. It is belong to the airline. Well, I mean, that's still, that's fair. I'm still, I'm struggling conceptually with the, with the idea of flying first class. Because you can fly first class for cheaper on a shorter flight, but then you get less first class. Exactly. But if you fly first class on a longer flight, you get more first class, but it's way more expensive. Nix T got it. Nix T said that's the way it should be. <laughs> that's right. I'm gonna even ask for a blanket because it's too cold and I'm gonna take that blanket home. If you fly first class, the blanket should be there when you get on. And it's gonna be mine. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna steal it because I paid for it. That's the attitude. It was really funny. My obo teacher, she was like, "Oh, so like when you go to those like E3 or media events, do they fly you with like first class?" No, no, no. And then I'm just like, "No." But then, and I was, I told her. Because nowadays it's not like one media outlet that they invite and then just have to have impressed like few people. There there's so many outlets. I I mean that they cannot invite five people and be like, please why why should they pay for media to go first class? That that crosses the line, in my opinion. But then maybe maybe they do pay first class to all uh, famous people who and, cares and we're the we're, we're the no not the not the not the ones and girl if you uh, if you measure yourself against other people always gonna be unhappy i never want to measure it the teacher raised the question and i'm just like oh I'm still of the opinion that when I get on an airplane, the people that serve me are like, this guy has never been outside of his house. Serve you? You know, like the flight attendants, the gate agents, mm. stuff like that. <clears throat> it was funny because it wasn't just, um, I think just generally old people. <laughs> Older people have a uh, concept of like, if someone is asking you to go to a place it gotta be first class no this is because we live in vancouver no man where the, the average korean, household income is like <laughs> the korean youtuber yeah he got invited to ea event yeah for the battlefield one mm -hmm. and then um he was like oh it's not first class yeah ea invited me and was economy well, that's weird. That's what exactly he said. That's uh, that's a terrible attitude to have. <laughs> oh, they they pay for my international flight from uh, Incheon Korea. Incheon to San Francisco. Yeah. It's probably like you know a thousand dollars, but least. they didn't spend eight thousand to fly me in first class. Yeah. That's uh, but su super diva he, attitude. But he is like. 36. He also makes videos of video games on the internet. No, I'm saying because he's 36, like he's quite old, older than us. That maybe he. I actually that. like. I try to take uh, an example from Paradox, where Paradox is like, even though we're making boatloads of money now because so many of our games have caught on, like our CEO still flies economy. Like we don't want to waste money flying our CEO in first class. Like I think that's a better attitude to have than. Fucking EA invited me to an event, but they wanted me to fly economy instead of first class. Why don't yeah. you pay? Why don't you pay your own first class upgrade, man? Yeah, that's my husband. It's a uh, it's a very silly attitude to take. Once you start buying into the idea that we're actually celebrities for what we do, is that's mental poison. See, that's 
that's the that's my husband right here and I'm proud of him thinking that excuse me do you think if you were to touch that ghost yeah would it be like a rubber texture mm. that's a good question <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question The other thing is, I still don't fully understand first class. Like, I, I, I guess I look at it too much as like a you're buying a, a service, and I'm like, I'm not paying four times the ticket cost for that. Apparently, like, not only, not only. You know, first class is a like a crazy thing. Um, if you do it multiple times, yeah, you have you get like um, points to redeem for more first class flights. No, like you have like a status. Mm. So for Air Canada, you start at like gold, platinum, and then diamond. Sure, yeah. And so like if you fly first class, like. I don't know, all the time, like 10 times a year or something, you're like double diamond, sure, like triple yeah. diamond. What, what is being double diamond mean? See, I think that's the old people thing, man. I don't think it's old people. There's a lot of YouTubers uh, that fly first well, class. Well, maybe because they got influenced by the old people. Well, thinking. then we've all been influenced by the older people, if you want to take that approach. Not man. Because whenever I see, I think you gotta you gotta lay some blame on our own generation for sure. I see lots of young money flying up in first class. Hell yeah, dude! Overwatch just came out, making big bucks. Young money, YM. Call me YM. That that's gonna be my DJ name. It's a real term, young money. Really? Yeah, nouveau riche girl. Okay, I don't know that one. Nouveau riche. It just means new money. Well, new wealth, I guess, but... What language is that? It's French. Oh. It's French language. <laughs> French language. New money! One, two, one, two. I think you, you have to be wealthy enough that if I said, I don't understand the value proposition of first class, they just said, it, it doesn't really matter because I'm wealthy enough that I just want to be comfortable. Like that, it, I, I completely accept that a lot of society works like that. I think if you're at the point where you got to be like... Well, how what is the, this meal worth to me? What's unlimited drinks worth to me? What's the chair worth to me? If you're breaking it down into like a line, chair worth to me. Well, it's a nice it's leg room, you know. If you're breaking it down into that, probably shouldn't be flying first class yet. Maybe maybe give it another, you know, increase in income and see how it feels. Maybe it's just there. There are certain types of people that they're like, that's the you know how some certain people they just like. When you got the cash, you gotta get the big cars or big boys cars or something. It's like that, but with flights. If you got the money, you gotta fly big. Right, you gotta maintain an image. I'm okay with us appearing to be like YouTube's Bernie Sanders. Drive like a 19. Who's Bernie Sanders? All right. Presidential uh, candidate. I thought he was Sandler's. Bernie Sandlers. <laughs> You're thinking of Adam Sandler, girl. No, I thought there was L in that. Ellen Sandler? <laughs> no. L, letter L. I thought there was a letter L in that. No? Bernie Sandlers. That, isn't that it? No, girl. You gotta, you gotta go to cbc.com sometimes. I, I honest to God saw some letter L in his name. Damn it! People are laughing their ass <laughs> off now. What? It's not Sandler's? It is 100% not Sandler's. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Bernie Slender. <laughs> that should have been his name, Bernie Slender. She's not even thinking KFC. KFC is uh, KFC? Who's that? Colonel Sanders. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh. Yo, it's 
it's okay to not know who uh, a celebrity is, like an actor or something. You gotta know that what's, who's gonna I thought he had, uh, possibly you know, be ruling the country next to oh, us. Oh, you know? freaking! Uh, I just thought there was a nail in his name. But if it doesn't, that's all right. You know, that's my mistake. I'm sorry. No, apology accepted. Oh come on, you're not <laughs> an American. What is? But what were you trying to say about him? You know, the average American politician lives a life in a certain degree of luxury. He, uh, you know, touts himself as uh, living modestly, and I think there's value in that. You know. I whether or not I agree with him politically is irrelevant. I think there's value to a life lived uh, below your means. <laughs> Plain movie predictions. Are we flying Air Canada, Kate? Yeah. I would say there's no more enemies. In there. <laughs> I would say there's probably like maybe a 40% chance that we don't even have seat back entertainment because the flight's short. Yeah. But if we do, and sometimes on a, on a shortish flight, you can still get it. I'm trying to think, what would they give us? So we're looking at stuff that came to theaters in like February. No, I bet later. the room is there. Not the it, room. I bet room. the room yeah, is there. Yeah, it could be. But I actually, we know it's going to be stuff that came out after Deadpool. Because the last time we flew was over a month ago, and they had Deadpool. So we're actually looking at stuff that came out in like March. Oh yeah, remember there was mom and a son, young son, behind us, and then uh, the kid was just playing a video game on his 3DS, right? And then his mom got freaked out and was like, "What are you doing? You're oh, wasting yeah. our money. You gotta watch <laughs> all the movie. We pay for that." And then he's like, oh, yeah, we have to, we have to watch all this free money to get our money back. I'm just like, you know, I think that's a little, a little too far, you know? If the kid wants to play the game, let the kid play the game. You don't have to watch a movie. I thought it was quite funny. Tommy, you're wasting our money by not watching free movies. Oh, she was, she was just being, you know, cordial. She was making a joke. I hope so. But... But the kid was watching a movie though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can watch a movie, play the 3DS as well. Ow. What? That thing did not die? So yeah, Batman vs. Superman could be there. You know, the second one is uh, confirmed. Yeah? How? Makes Prince money, you know. Did it though? Yeah, I think it did okay. Don't you? <clears throat> 10 Cloverfield Lane, it's possible. Oh yeah, I would love to watch it. I know that people really liked it, but not many people like the ending, which mm. actually worries me a bit. Because when, when I'm like super into the movie and the ending is not so good, I get like... It feels like I was pooping and I had to stop in the middle of my poop. <laughs> <laughs> the lack of curse rooms. It's killing me here. What's your problem, man? That's so yesterday. God, we're get one, into the we're new one generation. One guppy item away. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna say I told you so. But, uh. That's pretty good. I'm just excited we can fly without watching a fucking Hunger Games movie. The first time in like two years. I wonder if it was like that when Harry Potter came out. Oh, probably, yeah. It's like because we started the Hunger Games chain. It was so crazy because um, when I was in first year, elementary school student, that was the first uh, Harry Potter came out. Mm. So I was aging with Harry Potter. So like he would be in the first year. But and he, well, when he was in first year, he wasn't in first grade though. He was like thirteen. Well, <laughs> he was in the first year. You don't want to just reroll it all. I 
you know, we started like the Hunger Games chain and we had to follow it all the way down. Third one, I was like, this is pretty bad. Fourth one, I was like, this is still like pretty bad. Three, three, three dash two. Oh, there is. <clears throat> there is a heart. He was 11. Wait, but I was. Seven. Wait, hold on. Hold on, when did it come out again, guys? 2001. 2001? Two I was 10. Nine. So, yeah, we aged together, man. You, you were right. But you weren't in your first year of elementary school. You know. Those are the, those are the days. But it was cool. We were like, whoa. It's like, next year, I'm one year older, and he is one year older as I... It's like, it was... It was cool, there was nothing like that at that time. Oh. Felt it. Felt it. Like the last two Hunger Games movies are like... What if... There were no Hunger Games? What if we made the books with no Hunger Games anymore? I was sold a bill of goods! Oh my god, the music. I don't understand why... Like, how could a person be so evil? The... what was it? Mr. White? President... President White? President Snow. President Snow. It was so unrealistic. I wish they just did, like, three Hunger Games. No, oh, actually, just like. Yeah. And by the end of it, you'd be like. Um, I guess, like in Hunger Games, the most interesting part of the Hunger Game was the Hunger Game. Yeah, always. The super least interesting part was like the rebellion on the country. The behind the scenes Hunger Games stuff was like okay. The Hunger Games stuff was cool. Are you that guy who hates Forrest Gump? No, I think Forrest Gump's pretty good. For the film Forrest Gump? Oh. Never watched it. Don't know. It's pretty good. <laughs> President Walter White. Yes. No. No. I can't. I won't do it. I won't do it. I am not Ryan. <clears throat> what? The Curse of Maze. What the heck? It's like, what? Look at what the. F what are you doing? The Curse of Maze is taking all these items yeah. and replacing them. See? It's so random. Why are they here? WTF? What? They combined these two items there now. No, those were two other ones. Curse of Maze. You know, the Native Americans call it the Curse of Corn. I don't understand that joke. It's analysis. Analysis joke. Someone on the um, Nathus's video mm. commented like, Nathus, uh, keep up the good work. Um, uh, you know, like you're doing so good that one day I bet you'll be on NLSS. I'm like, what? You make it sound <laughs> like NLSS is like, like a grand uh, stage to be. And I mean, I'm not saying you know it's a, it's not a grand show, but it's not like if you're not good enough, you're not invited or something yeah. like that. Too good.
Egg father should get his rest. Pretty sleepy. I felt special on the analysis, Kate. No, that's, you know, I'm saying it is a special show, but it's not a special show that only people who are famous can show up. He's also been on the show before. That is true.